Ah, well, hello. Uh, as you can see behind me, uh, we've had snowy weather. In fact, quite a lot of it. It snuck up on us uh, last weekend while I was on the other side of the country. Uh, and I've not made a snowman in years, but um, I've been busy rolling snow. And so far, I have created the beast. So I thought I would video the, the closing stages of um, trying to um, trying to roll it again. It's now after lunch. I got it this big, and if I to put it in some kind of scale, there's our greenhouse. Um, I got it this big. Um, must have been about half an hour worth of rolling before lunch, and so we'll now set the camera up on something flat this being a garden there are of course chairs and uh, well we'll see if we can um, I may have to move the camera midway because I may go past the shed but uh, we'll see um, we'll see how much bigger we can get this won't see me at first. I don't think I can get it behind the shed without help, so plan B, uh, we'll make a head for it, this might as well be a, a full snowman.
Hmm. Maybe big enough for a head now. Fugger. <laughs> All right, they're disintegrated. Ah, that's not a bad head, and it needs, needs a bit of filling in. There you go, it's got a face now, I don't know if I should give him Give him arms. I don't know what we've got for arms. Oh, what we've got. Now, the trick is to create arms without ruining it. No, I think it's... I think it's too stiff to... to stick a broom into. Ah. down these stick, stick arms route. but he's got a face, he's got arms and he's a bit dirty, well, pretty typical for a snowman really. <laughs> 